Good morning, everybody. So, uh, today is August the 24th, and today is another weekly update uh, video. So, I'm just going to be talking about what I accomplished this week, things I'm thinking about, what's going on in life, things like that. Mm. Well, I enjoy my coffee. Okay. Uh, over the last weekend, I was trying to kind of work through a video idea I had. Um, I was trying to go through, like, what is my editing process, which I feel like it's not super concrete and super specific other than, like, one particular thing. But I was just trying to write down how I usually do it and seeing if I could just, like pull it out step by step and make a video out of it. Um, yeah, there's a, there's a lot in here. Um, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay. Sunday, again, I was considering videos that I was scripting, but I was also kind of stressing out. Um, because I... Obviously, I've been on a weight loss journey, and last month, between the start of July and the end of July, I lost 10 pounds. Yay for me. Come to find out, the first 10 pounds is not the hardest part, it's the second 10 pounds. Because my body has been freaking out, like, where the hell is everything going? And... I've been super hungry and I've been super lazy. So I had to just give myself a kick in the pants and get back to the gym and start dieting again. <clears throat> so I am back and I'm back to doing what I should be doing uh, with yet another workout regimen that I think works better for me. Uh, for Monday and Tuesday, I tried something a little new. I did automatic writing and automatic drawing, which I just set a timer for five minutes and didn't pick up my pen from paper until uh, those five minutes were done, just to see if they had any insights to my subconscious. Nothing really new. Uh, one thing that I was thinking about on Monday is um, when I get my own place and I get a job and I kind of know how my schedule works, I actually want to run a D&D &D game for some members of the writing community. Um, I think like three to five members of the writing community, depending upon who wants to play. But I was trying to come up with... Uh, names for the series because I might turn it into a series where I uh, run a bunch of games over the course of like a couple months for writers so I was trying to brainstorm series names tell me what you guys think of these Destiny Writers The Fates Clash of Writers Vox Calamum which is Latin for Voice of the Pen, uh, The Mighty Pens, Blood of the Bards, Ink Glorious Bastards, Whisper of the Parchment, Quilt Quirks, Makers of Immortals, Ink Drinkers, Paper Cutters, and Talented Writers and Talented Scribes, also known as Twats. Yes, I'm childish. I also started coming up with a new uh, author tube tag for d and I'm having a hard time with it, though, because some of the questions are, like, either or. So, like, question one is, how did you get into d and And question two is, if you've never played D&D &D before, have you ever been interested? So, yeah. I don't know about that one. I need to rethink it a little bit. Uh, I am doing daily posts on my website blog now. That's kind of acting as more of my... Uh, do you mind if I take this off? I'm getting really hot. Anyway. 
I was kind of acting more as like my diary situation without getting like too super uber personal. Uh, day two of the automatic writing. I also considered that if for some of my videos, if I should be wearing costumes to make them more engaging and interesting. And I was just thinking about what costumes for what videos. Hmm. Ah, la 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 la. Mm, Wednesday, not much happened, obviously. Um, I, I was feeling really burnt out because it's, you may not think it because I don't upload on here a lot. Sorry, adjusting something. But it's been pretty rough for the last couple of months. A lot has happened since like April and not many of the things that have happened have been good. And I'm stressed from starting this new chapter in my life and trying to find a day job, trying to find an apartment, trying to get where I need to go. And I was just feeling very burnt out on Wednesday. So once I got done at the gym, I kind of just spent the whole day in bed. Um, I think everybody needs to do that probably at least once a month, if not once a week. Obviously, if it interferes with other aspects of your life, um, then obviously you need to look into alternative solutions. I'm not giving anybody advice because obviously I don't have my shit together. <laughs> but yeah, I just spent the whole day in bed. Yeah. Thursday was an interesting day in terms of what I was thinking about. First of all, um, I thought back to something that I had thought about doing a long time ago. And I always dreamed of when I got my own place, then I would do something special on Sundays. I would just turn off my Wi-Fi, turn off my phone, and spend the whole day in bed reading, napping, and eating. Because I haven't had a lot of opportunities to just read in a long time. I used to read like eight books a year in high school. But yeah, I miss I miss being able to just read. So I kind of want to just have a day in the week when I get my own place where it's non-negotiable. I stick by myself. I become basically incommunicado unless it's an emergency. And I just read the whole day and maybe get some takeout. At the same time, I was thinking about making a secondary YouTube channel, which I ultimately ended up doing. Uh, thing is, even though I'm on a diet, I love food. Um, and that's rough for losing weight. But I love food. And I thought to myself, well, what if I create a second YouTube channel for tips on dieting and kind of mukbang videos? So like cheat day mukbangs, kind of what I did from some of my live streams. Um, so I ended up doing that. And yesterday I actually uh, filmed my first uh, food review video. I went to Sonic Burger. And I tried their chocolate chip cookie dough blast. So I will put a link in the description to that video and that channel so that you guys can check it out. Um, yeah, I basically just, I was thinking about how much I love food and how much I kind of miss it because depending upon what I eat in a day, I can't have certain things. But yeah, I I thought to myself, you know what? This could be a good a good excuse to treat myself on occasion. I also ended up going to uh So it turns out they have a Bath and Body Works in my town. 
I didn't know that. I assumed that since we don't even have a Chipotle, there's no way we could have a Bath and Body Works in my town. But apparently it's right next to the gym that I've been going to for like two months. I'm smart, you guys. I swear to God I am. But anyway, um, the only reason why I basically found out is because when I went to the gym, I realized that somebody had taken a Safeway cart, which the Safeway is on the complete opposite end of the building where my gym is. So like it goes Safeway, a bunch of little shops, including the Bath and Body Works and the Little Caesars and like a couple of like um, pawn shops and like insurance loan companies, stuff like that. My gym... And then what was a Kmart is now turning into a Spirit Halloween. The cart was way over by the Spirit Halloween. So I took the cart back over to the Safeway. Because no one was going to find it out over there. But I had to pass by the Bath and Body Works while I went. So it's like, okay. Um, the reason why this matters is because my dental hygienist uh, gave me uh, what is called the Black Cherry... Merlot hand lotion um the last time I was there and I fell in love uh partially with the lotion and partially with the scent so I was like well I need to find more of this so when I realized there was a Bath and Body Works I was like okay let's go and I went right after the gym and I I get in the store and I ask her I ask the uh woman who's running it who's really super nice I like her but I asked her, do you guys have the Black Cherry Merlot Lotion? And she said, we just got it back in stock. So I think because of my dental hygienist and my uh, dentist who give away these little uh, lotion bottles, quote unquote, to their favorite uh, patients, which is what my dental hygienist told me. Uh, I guess it must have been so popular that they kind of like ran out. So they were having a sale. Uh, buy one, get one free of the lotion or buy one, get two free of the lotion, depending upon how many you wanted. I ended up getting two. I also got a body spray and they were having a sale on their candle, which I actually have behind me. Uh, hang on. <laughs> which here's the thing. I've never actually owned any candles, let alone a Bath and Body Works candle, but they do have the Black Cherry Merlot candle. Which I <laughs> I lit it pretty much the moment that I could when I got home. Um, I was slightly paranoid for the rest of the day. Like, did I blow out the candle? Did I blow out the candle? Did I blow out the candle? Let's talk fire safety, bitch. But I got my, my first candle, which was also on sale for like 14 bucks. And then I just took a look around the store. Because it had been so long since I'd been in a Bath and Body Works. I feel like it was... When I was like 15, maybe 16. Um, Because I really don't remember. I know we had one in Kansas. I just don't remember really ever going in because I don't think I was as interested at the time. Bath and Body Works was one of the biggest things we had in Bozeman. So it was kind of a treat to go there. But once you get to Kansas City, there are other places to go. So it just kind of never really even occurred to me. So I took another look around. They have some cool stuff in there. Like, freaking cool stuff. Um, I like that they came up with original Halloween kind of stuff. Like, there's something like a vampire blood candle and vampire blood lotion, which is pretty cool. But they actually also came out with an aromatherapy collection, which... Um, if you guys can read the bottle, this says stress relief and it's eucalyptus and spearmint. And since I've been super stressed lately, I figured, you know what? Let me grab a sample one of these and see how I like it. Um, I think, I think I'll be going back there either if I can find one where I intend on going or if I, for whatever reason, end up having to stay here. Life is so fucking crazy, you guys. I wish I knew what was happening. I wish I knew. I just wish I knew. I'm I'm just so unsure of everything. And I, f I feel like a failure for not having figured out this part of my life. 
And everybody assures me, no, everybody goes through this when you're transitioning into, like, being an adult living on your own and you need to decide, you know, where do you go after college? I just feel like such a failure. I feel like such a failure. But, anyway, um, you guys don't want to hear about that. Anyways. That's pretty much all I have to talk about this week. I'm just going to be over here enjoying my coffee. Ah, anyway, I hope you guys had a better week than I did. Except for, like, my little shopping spree, obviously. And I hope that, um, the next couple of weeks I figure some shit out. So, I'll see you guys next week. <laughs>